Hey everybody, welcome to the walkthrough video of 498 Bella Vista here in Hacienda del Rio. It is a beautiful rainy day here in Edgewater. Um, I'll probably try to do a new video when it's a little bit more sunny out, but today we got a rainy day. So I want to start outside uh, for this walkthrough video because this is a really, really large open carport. Uh, it extends the entirety of the home which is about 48 feet. So from right here to all the way down here, uh, we have 48 feet of open covered carport. This is screened in back here, goes to a little patio and we'll go inside and check out this Florida room in a second. Um, but this is pretty big. Uh, the width just right here, my measuring tape out is 10 feet. So from that wall to that wall is 10 feet. We have a nice shed in here. Hopefully you can see it. Let's see if there's a light in here. Yep. Uh, let's see if we can measure real quick how big this shed is. We got nine feet, four inches by nine feet, four inches. So nine, four by nine, four. Obviously we have the laundry out here. Pretty nice large shed. We got the pegboard on the walls so you can hang up all of your tools. So this is a two bedroom, two bath, uh, almost 1300 square foot home, 1992 is the year. I'm gonna try not to talk too much when we actually get inside so that you guys get an idea and a feel for the home. But this is a really, really awesome home. Let me start out with the digital deadbolt here. So you can either use a key or just have a combo lock to get in and out of the home. So we walk in to the living room. Uh, it's very spacious. Again, let me get out my measuring laser. Tell you that it's 15 feet from this wall to that wall and from this wall to that wall is 17 feet. So 15 by 17 in this space here. I know sometimes it's hard to tell from the photos and videos. Uh, we have all new chandeliers and a, a, a new term that I hadn't heard before, which is a fandelier, which is some of these chandeliers have a fan in them. This one does not, but uh, some of them do. So nice open, freshly painted. We have uh, LVP flooring throughout most of the home. I think all of the home actually. Uh, let's just go right into the kitchen. So this looks like a quartz or a granite countertop. It's not it's sort of a faux, uh, but it's really, really cool. I mean, this is obviously a beautiful kitchen. We have some stainless steel uh, with the fingerprint resistant stainless steel appliances. We have our slide-in range over here. Lots and lots and lots of cabinet space. Obviously new cabinets in here. All LED lighting throughout as well. So save you on your energy bills in that regard. A little breakfast nook right back here. Another one of those LED chandeliers. I guess while we're here, we can take a quick look at the electrical panel. Sometimes folks like to see that. So there you go. Whoops, electrical panel. Thought I was gonna knock over the plant. And then back here, we have a little Florida room. One of those fan deliers I was mentioning. So there's a fan inside that. Now these windows uh, all so all four, one, two, three, four of those panels individually each slide up. These are not glass windows, these are vinyl. Um, so easy to cool or easy to have a breeze come through. I quickly measure this room. This room is 11, uh, 13 by 10. So 13 by 10 out here. Let's go back in through the kitchen. I didn't mention this, look how deep this sink is. Deep and wide, pretty cool. Looks 
extendable faucet. Here's our guest bedroom. Get a width and a length here. We got 11.5 by 10. So 11 and a half feet ish by 10 feet in here. Decent sized closet that as well. Another chandelier. Here's our guest bathroom. I didn't have the light on because the fan comes on. I didn't want the fan to be running. Um, we have new tub, new shower, new toilet, new vanity, new lights, new mirrors, everything in here. A skylight, which has been recently redone. I can see you got some new wood up there, new paint. So that's been taken care of for you. Storage everywhere. Oh, it looks like there's some sort of a, uh, oh wow, look at all those electrical outlets. That looks like a uh, audio visual throughout the house kind of thing. I don't know if the speakers are still here, but it looks like at some point they had speakers throughout the house. So it's wired for that. And then here's our master bedroom. So this is kind of interesting. So let's see, get a width and a length for the master bedroom. So we got 13 feet by 12. So 13 feet from there to there and 12 from here just to that wall. But then we have this extra room in here, which is also 12 by 13. So this little additional room could be like an office over here. Um, and then of course this door goes out to the Florida room we were at just a minute ago. chandelier and of course our ensuite bathroom gorgeous in here more of that sort of faux granite countertop walk-in shower all been redone toilets everything in here is basically new it's a 1992 home so that's not super old uh, about 1300 square feet two bedroom two bath Super interesting and cool house. Oh, and a pretty good size actual walk-in closet. I mean, so we're in here. Go back, back up so y'all could see what we're doing here. So give us a call if you'd like to see this house. Uh, it's listed by Kim Raymond, her phone number. Kind of get a close up on this. 407-460-6996. Our office number, of course, 386-270-6332 for Surf and Turf Realty. Give Kim a call if you'd like to see this house or really any house here in Hacienda. We always have a few for sale. Uh, Hacienda is, in my opinion, one of the nicest communities to live in in all of probably Florida, definitely Volusia County. Uh, it sits on the intercoastal waterway on the bay. Uh, they have two multi-million dollar clubhouses uh, with a dock that you can go fishing or bring a boat right up to. You're very close to New Smyrna Beach, which is an awesome place to hang out. Uh, close to Ponce Inlet, close to Daytona, of course. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up from there. If you have any questions, give Kim a call, 407-460-6996. Thanks.